Good morning, you guys. I'm super excited because I thought today, it's a great day. I'm gonna show you guys how I usually get to ready. I really wanna stay true to my usual everyday get ready with me. So this is what I do when I wanna leave the house and look cute. That's basically what this is. A little deep dive into my life. But anyways, <laughs> really started off not so cute. This is from Princess Polly. I'm so so obsessed with it. It's pink, which is just my vibe. So yeah, I'm excited to take this out to see my curls of the day. It's always like a little fun activity in the morning, taking out your overnight curls. It's like a Christmas gift. <laughs> what curls do I have today? So obviously my little get ready with me started last night. If you want to learn how to do this, I did like how to wake up looking perfect. So if you want to know, go watch that video. It's just so great because you can wake up, take out your curls and instantly feel cute. And it's so low maintenance. Like you really don't have to do much. It always look a little bit crazy at first. These actually aren't that bad. They're actually pretty good. I feel like I've really gotten better at doing my overnight curls. Oh, I love this little trend. I hope it stays a trend forever because I love it. Anyways, now that my hair is done, like I didn't really have to do anything. That was so easy. Let's go pick an outfit. I always like to pick an outfit first and then do my makeup because I usually like to revolve like my look around my outfit. So let's go and pick an outfit for the day. Okay, you guys, so I've got my potential outfits behind me. And it's actually like gonna be like 34 degrees today. So yeah, I'm so blessed and excited to get ready. This is like my peak weather. I know like a majority of people think that's way too hot. I love it. I love that kind of heat. But yeah, today my wardrobe is sponsored by Princess Polly. I love their clothes. I've been wearing Princess Polly for years and years and years. And if you guys wanna shop some Princess Polly, you can use my discount code, which is Leah20 for 20% percent off so i'm super excited first off i'm just going to show you some items that i'm not going to try on because i know that i'm not going to wear them because of the weather and also because i kind of paired the outfits together already so first off this sick jacket look how sick this is it's cool girl it's giving pinterest and i'm honestly so excited to wear this in like two days time when melbourne weather's going to be good again love this but obviously 34 degree day no thank you <laughs> next i have this really 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 cool top this is like a little t-shirt malibu hull treats i love little graphic tees like this especially when the writing is just so chic i would honestly love to wear this however it's gray and it's 34 degrees i think you know where i'm going with that i don't want to sweat through it and then this other top super cute it's honestly giving christmasy vibes so the reason i don't want to wear it today is because i want to save it it's closer to christmas i just love wearing red in the festive season so based on that that's why i pick these pieces to put in outfits. Oh, that could be a song. Picking pieces to put in outfits. Not a song, like a little, like Peter Piper picked a pickle pepper, like that kind of vibe. What is that? Tongue twister? Yeah. So yeah, I'm so excited to wear these at another date. But let's look at the other fits. So this is my first outfit. I've had this gorgeous mini white top with this gorgeous mini denim skirt. Today, you're gonna see that I've gone for a bit of a theme. I love a cute little white top. So I actually have a few of them to decide between. But I saw this one and I'm like, oh my God, details. They're just everything. This like This top is a 10 out of 10 for me. And I've paired it with this cutesy, cutesy cute little denim skirt. It's got some real pockets on the back, which is good. I love a real pocket. And this is perfect length. Like, I feel like maybe I've already found an outfit that I'm vibing with. It's honestly giving 34 degree day, and that's what I need to say. Let's try on the next outfit, though. Okay, so I've got the next outfit on. This is giving less of 34 degree day, but this is really chill and still giving warm weather, in my opinion. So it's a matching set with a little strapless top. Hands are flat at the bottom, which is 10 out of 10. It's really cute because it's got this little open slit on the side and then both the top and the pants have this little ruchy thing which i guess you could ruch and drop into a bow or if you want you could leave it like open also the color is so stunning but yeah this is definitely more of a chill option for me so yeah really love this but let's try on the next outfit so this is the next outfit i've had this like mini ruch top with another like denim skirt this one is like a khaki green color so as you can see the top is a tiny teeny bit see-through honestly i don't see anything i'm just being safe you guys know i always love a little bit of see-through top princess poly tops are the best because they have so much like detail i've got these like little tie-up bow situations which also makes it adjustable and then it's like 
gorgeous and frilly. It's just like so summery, so airy fairy. I love it. And then of course this gorgeous cargo skirt. I think the green and the white also flatter each other a lot. This outfit is just so cute and perfect for a day like today. Let's try on the next outfit. Oh my god, this next outfit is absolutely stunning. It is this long island girl like maxi dress. It literally. <laughs> It's like down to my ankles. The back is like so unique and stunning. And then again, like with the details, we've got a little bit here. Obviously it brought the back, the little frills, like it's just perfect. I love the blue and the white color combination. It just looks so summery. I kind of want to save this though for like a special occasion because this is honestly so beyond beautiful and definitely a little bit more dressy. But yeah, let's move on to the last outfit. So I have the last outfit. I freaking love this top. I'm obsessed with this top. Everything about this top is perfect. It's a little bit see-through though. But again, I love that. <laughs> so I've paired this gorgeous top with this gorgeous maxi denim skirt. And the skirt has like a little bow at the front. It like has two little leg slits. But it's this like gorgeous denim blue color. And because of the slits, like it's so easy to like walk in. And obviously we have this gorgeous top. It's like this open peekaboo like lace silk vibe. <laughs> Pretty much it's like two tops worn together. I love this outfit together, like the combination of it. I I think it's stunning. But yeah, I've got to pick an outfit so I can get ready for the day. So yeah, I'm gonna put on the outfit that I'm gonna wear today. Okay you guys, so this is the little outfit I've chosen to wear today. Honestly, since I put this on, I couldn't stop thinking about it. It's just so cute. I'm gonna quickly accessorize and then we're gonna get into the base. Okay, so I have this set of earrings. It comes in a set of three, gold and gorgeous. I think I'm gonna go for the small hoops. I feel like small hoops are like still just as cute. They're just like a little bit more classy. These are absolutely stunning. I think they might like in my new everyday hoops. Like, oh, so I got this stunning, stunning necklace. Will it be too much? You know what, we should just do it. Like the quality and the detailing on this is unmatched. I'm happy with my outfit and my accessories. I'm feeling super cute. Little baby here, little baby. Lots of kisses. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. If you guys like any of my outfits or want to check them out, make sure to go to the description box. And make sure you use my discount code Leah20. But yeah, you guys, let's go to our makeup. Okay, you guys, so it's time for makeup. My favorite time of the day. So I'm going to do the makeup that I do on myself literally like every single day that I need to go somewhere. I feel like I've got this makeup really down pat. So I'm starting off with a hydrating primer, especially because it is hot weather. I like to be hydrated. If you guys know me, you would know that I definitely get stuck on using certain products because they're just so good. And this is new to me, but I definitely feel like I'm gonna get stuck on this primer. Like it's really great. Look how nourished my skin looks just from primer. Like, that's crazy. Okay, next, I'm going straight into my brows. I have a good brow wax over a brow gel. I just feel like brow waxes make my eyebrows stick so much better. My eyebrows looking crazy. Oh, this always happens. I like to once I brush them up, shape them around. It gives them more of a clean look. All right, that might just have to do for now. They're okay. Whatever. Right, now that I've done my eyebrows, I know I don't really like to do much for them. I just feel like I look back on photos of myself with like drawn on eyebrows. I'm like, oh, it just like takes away from the rest of my features. So I have been loving keeping them natural recently, but it's come and go. Yeah, I'm just applying this. You guys know I love this. Like I love it. I love it. Always, always, always blend down your neck. Oh, your neck. Okay, so I don't usually wear foundation. I am breaking out a little bit, so just to even up my skin tone. I'm taking this Charlotte Tilbury foundation, literally just one pump. And I'm only blending that over the places that I feel like have a bit more of an uneven texture. Oh my god, I thought there was a spider on my arm, but it was a single hair. My cat Prada, he literally has like two jobs. One is working at a bakery. He needs, that's usually a night shift and it's quite annoying needing the blanket, you know? His second job is a bug exterminator. And I love him for that because I hate spiders, but he will literally sniff out. I don't know how he does it, but he finds like the tiniest bugs. Mm -hmm. So like go over and sit by it and wait for us to come and kill the bug. 
Oh Anyways, put it on the tiniest bit of concealer. Honestly, I use this concealer because it's really great at brightening. Like you can put a tiny dab on and not so much. You guys might be wondering, why are you getting ready? Like, where do you have to go? I actually have nowhere to go. I only usually like to get ready if I'm going somewhere. And today I'm not going anywhere. So I've made it a pact to myself that I am gonna go somewhere because I'm not gonna waste this beautiful day away. I'm gonna get cute. I'm gonna feel good. I'm gonna go. Cream bronzing time. I've always loved to go heavy with the bronzer on the forehead. It just gives you such a sun-kissed, gorgeous look. All right, now I'm applying some cream blush. I'm off with this Patrick Ta. This one's really hot pink, so I don't like to put too much of this on. Recently, I've been going for a summery look, so I'm putting that on my nose. And then I go in with this Kylie one, which is almost done. I like to go back in with my foundation concealer brush, <laughs> blend everything in. And it really like diffuses and blends the crazy blush into the face, and it looks oh, just so good. All right, and now that everything is blended out, I'm moving on to powder. Of course, I'm just going in with powder triangle. And really just pressing that into my under eye areas. Look at how seamless. Okay, I'm now I'm going to bronze. I'm just going over everywhere that I put the cream bronzer. And I'm just blushing with two Kylie blushes. This shade is just the perfect blush shade. But I like to go over it with this cool toned pink just for some fun. Now, I know you guys are probably going to be like, Leah, you're missing the most important thing. And I know I'm not contouring my nasal cavity. But... That's because it's the summertime and I found another way to contour my nasal cavity without looking too contour heavy. So I'm grabbing my painted palette and the shade Freckled. And instead of contouring down the sides of my nose, I'm just adding some little freckly business. And I feel like it just gives a really cute contoured look without being too harsh or heavy. I'm gonna take like a dark shade and create like a beauty spot on the pimple. And I'll like put another one somewhere else if I wanna be fancy. I love this palette. I got it recently. It's not really a brightening powder. It's more of a mattifying soft focus blending powder I'm just popping that on the sides of my nose kind of blend out the freckles And look how blended and smooth my face looks like I look airbrushed in real life I remember when I started this routine I was getting so many compliments on how my makeup looked Like even last night I wore this exact face routine I Got a compliment from the waitress at dinner Like genuinely gorgeous, gorgeous You need to try this Next I'm going to set my face The other week I tried to buy my favorite setting spray online The hourglass one it wasn't available online I went into store which I never do I like it traveled to this one store that said that they had five available I'm like great I'm gonna get there I'm gonna get, I get to the store And it wasn't there So I asked one of the girls that was working there And she's like yeah I can't find it But it says we have five on the system She like went out the back and checked in everything And they didn't freaking have it So I think some people are stealing Which is naughty 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 But this has been like a really good setting spray I've been using in replacement of my fail soft focus And I got to try something new and different Which I never do So let's get into highlighting now Just popping some on the tops of my my cheekies and then I take this rare beauty one just like really bright and I put that on my nose above my lip and then my inner eye corners and my brow bone all right I'm gonna do a tiny bit of eyeshadow so I'm just grabbing the painted palette and the shade UV index and oak and just really lightly blending that like that's literally probably it for the brown shade I'm also gonna put some of it on my under eye and then with this white shade sugar I'm just popping that on my lid the next step I'm gonna do some liner I'm using a brown eyeliner and I'm gonna do like a baby wing. So cute. Next, I'm gonna be popping on this mascara, which is honestly maybe my new favorite. There's no clumpy business here. Last step is lips. So I like to take my lip and cheek glue balm and a lot of this on my lips. And then I go in with my favorite lip liner. I'm just overlaying the hell out of my lips. I'm just really bring it all together. I'm yeah. super easy. This is what I do literally every day if I'm going somewhere. Okay, you guys, this is the finished look. For you guys, I love the result, obviously, because I do it all the time. <laughs> but yeah you guys i love you so much i hope you enjoyed getting ready with me today so yeah make sure to like subscribe and follow me on instagram at leaholton underscore thank you so much and i'll see you very soon